Thank you, Sue. And a special thanks to the team behind the exciting documentary and to Dr. Ebtisam Islam. Despite today's highly polarized climate, projects like this show us the importance of building bridges and they inspire us to work towards a better future. Salam Alaikum. Peace and blessings to you and your loved ones. I'm Adil Khan and I'm the chair of MPAC's board of directors. I want to begin by recognizing and thanking the MPAC staff, volunteers, and my fellow board members for their tireless efforts. I also want us to remember our mentor and everyone's best friend, Dr. Maher Hatoub. May God bless him and his family. I want to highlight what we have accomplished and why I'm so excited about the future of this organization. MPAC's Hollywood Bureau continues to push the envelope in breaking barriers so Muslims are empowered to tell their authentic stories in television and film. Back when most Muslims felt their only option was to complain about what they saw on the screen, the Hollywood Bureau decided instead to honor the people and projects getting it right in Hollywood, opening doors for Muslim talent and adding seats for Muslims at decision-making tables. On the policy front, MPAC's policy team in Washington, D.C. continues to be a trusted, credible voice in shaping policy initiatives that impact us. Faced with challenges posed by the prior administration and the onslaught of the ongoing pandemic, MPAC committed itself in 2020 to reestablishing its presence. Over the past year, we have made good on that promise by one, hiring a new policy director, Muhammad Ali, and continuing to expand our D.C. staff and operations. Two, leveraging our existing relationships with policymakers and building new partnerships with those in positions of authority. And three, solidifying our role as a convening authority and coalition builder for American organizations and civic groups. Today, MPAC is in the best financial position since its founding 30 years ago. But we recognize that achieving our mission requires us to invest in the future while the substantive work continues. This is no easy task, but MPAC has maintained its commitment to that long-term vision by identifying and hiring young talent to fill key director and staff positions, like our new policy director, professionalizing and systematizing our operations by hiring a chief operating officer, and developing young leaders into board members to help formulate today's solutions for tomorrow's problems. This commitment also requires us to grapple with how the injustices of history permeate the present. And that's why one of my proudest initiatives is the ongoing work of MPAC's African American Insight Council, a group of leaders dedicated to growing MPAC into a more inclusive organization that truly represents and serves the rich complexity of the American Muslim community. We do this by acknowledging that our focus cannot only be pointed at the centers of power in Hollywood, Washington, D.C., or Silicon Valley. Without our community and stakeholders, our work would be rudderless. So to ensure that we remain valuable, relevant, and accountable, MPAC is continuing to build its infrastructure for community engagement. As you'll see throughout tonight's program, our work is also directed towards building alliances and collaborative efforts with interfaith partners, civic organizations, and value-driven people throughout the country, including middle America. There's no better example of that than our forthcoming documentary, which you have heard so much about. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for your continued support. And thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Now, I'll hand it off to MPAC's Chief Operating Officer, Rami Khan, who will showcase how we are building a pipeline of young Muslim leaders committed to public service in our nation's capital and to serving communities around the country.